All right, next little van mod, mate, is a mid awning support. I'm gonna get Beck to show you because she fancies herself as a bit of a handy woman. Get round here, what do you reckon? There's no way I could do that. <laughs> you reckon it'll stay on the side of the no, van? No, absolutely, it'll fall off. <laughs> All right, hold that, I'll show you. All right, so what a mid awning support does is stops your awning bouncing up and down when you're in travel mode, right? So have a look up here. See the length of our awning, it's a big van. So uh, the longer your awning, the bigger the bounce is gonna get as well. I've told you before, I reckon they should put them on standard. I think it has got forgotten. I think they do put them on most of the time on these big ones, but I'll give you a demo of what it does. Imagine if you're on off-road and you're bouncing up and down on corrugations. Have a look at this. It gets a fair whack up, eh? Oh. And the harder the bumps and the longer you go, the bigger it gets. And eventually it fatigues either end of your awning or it can bow it. It's just not good for it. All you need is one of these. It's just a mid awning support. It's a little bracket with a roller in it that sits halfway down your awning. And it just takes the weight of that awning and stops it bouncing, right? So come and have a look what you need. Um, it's a simple install. I reckon I could do it in about five minutes. You got, uh, these are the parts I'll show you first. This is what comes in the box. You've got the bracket then you've got the carrier, and then you've got a backing plate. Now, I'm gonna use the backing plate. You don't have to. If you can find like a bit of aluminium or timber in your wall, and you can screw straight through it, you can just punch some big screws straight in there like this, and that'll hold it. What I'm gonna do is sicker-flex the whole thing on, put four pop rivets in the backing plate, mark out the center holes where I've already drilled for this, drill them through my van, and then put the big screws through as well, because I don't want it to come off. Um, sicker-flex, as always. Always put black sticker flex under any screw or anything I put through the outside of the van. Stop any water and stuff getting in. Uh, and then you need a drill with the right size for your screws and your rivets, right? And a um, pop rivet gun. There you go. They're nice, they're big fat rivets and they're nice and long so they'll go through the backing plate and the, the skin on your um, caravan wall, right? So here we go. What I want to show you, I'll climb up on the ladder you don't want to put any weight on this. So when you mount it, you don't want to be pushing this up against the awning barrel. You just want it to sit under it and just touch it, right? Because all you want it to do is stop the bounce. You don't want this having any weight on it, putting pressure on the side of your van. So I'll show you. You get up, you measure it. Mate, it's a bit hard to get it in the middle when you've got lights and vents and everything else. Mine's going to go right here. Or I could go right there, but I'm going to go right here, right next to this. Just feed him in. Slide your backing plate on, line up where your holes are going to go through your bracket, and then push up until that, until that little carrier just touches it. I'll show you. So there you go. You just want that carrier just sitting under the fabric of the awning barrel. You don't want to be pushing up on it, putting any preload on it. So that's it. Can you pass me that pen down there, Beck? Just going to use a Nico and mark. Ha, <laughs> whatever. Mark the four holes. All right, that's marked. Have a look at this. I just like to do a little outline around the bottom of the bracket so I know where to line it up. And there's me one, two, three, four holes up there. Um, what I'm gonna have to do to get the top ones is actually roll me awning out a bit and set it up so I can actually get the drill in on the right angle. All right, it's always nerve wracking when you gotta drill through your van. Line her up. It's hard because I've got nothing to pull against. There you go. You don't have to go in too far. There's like a thin aluminium skin on the outside of your van. Um, that's all it's gonna hold on the rivets. Now, with the Sikaflex, this is why I'm telling you don't put too much load on it, because it's not actually a weight-bearing device. It's just a, like a support. All you want it to do is stop that. It's still gonna be resting on the two main supports either end. This is just stops the flapping and that. So you don't wanna load her up too much. But um, surprising how good Sikaflex is, mate. It's bloody good, good stuff. I'm gonna show you a little tip to get rid of the, the burr. So, see that? Leaves a little burr from the drill bit. Just get a bigger drill bit. And just sit it in there and by hand, give it a little spin like that. Takes all the burrs off. Oh, that's a good idea. You like that deer, hey? Eh? Yeah. Not just good looking, eh? Hey? No. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. Do that for all four so you're, um, your backing plate sits nice and flush on the side of your van and then we'll load her up with some silicon or sicker flex 
and uh, put some rivets in. There you go. Always something I always do when I'm going to put silicon or I want something to stick to the van, I wipe it down with acetone or metho or something just to clean any grease and grime off so then the silicon sticks properly. Put a bit of this around. I like to do it on each hole because I like it going in there to stop everything coming, all the water going in. And then make a nice seal around it so the water doesn't get in behind it. There we go. A bit of a cross for good measure. What do you reckon about that? Oh, good. You like that? Oh yeah. Hold it into place with your rivets. So get them in there. One, two, three, four. I like putting them all the way in, all four of them. That way you know it's gonna line up. And then we can start with the top one. Right, there we go. I'll give you a word of warning. Try and either get a bigger pair of, um, a, pop, a bigger pop rivet gun or some bigger muscles. <laughs> These pop rivets are big, man. Man, they are some big rivets. That ain't going anywhere in a hurry. There you go. All right, so that's that part done. Now I've just got to pre-drill these second holes and I'll screw the actual mid-mount support to that backing plate. Silicon straight onto the holes there and there. You can never have too much Sika Flex, I tell you. I reckon <laughs> some vans on the road are held together just with sticker flex, I reckon. It's pretty crazy. Top hole. Bang. Bottom hole. Another hot tip while I'm going, if you're gonna screw anything into the side of your van, I always use a screwdriver because if you go too hard with a drill, it's really easy to strip the thread or strip the, the aluminium in the side of these things. So you don't wanna to go too hard on any screws. Use Sika Flex and just hand tighten things into the side. And that my friends is how you install the mid awning support. See that, that little bit there pivots. There's a lock nut and a screw that goes through here when you assemble it. So you can tighten that so it's got a little bit of movement, like so. And then it tips down and lets the awning come on and it rolls up and holds it, just like so. All right, we're gonna um, roll it up and I'll show you how it works. All right, let's see if it works. Hey, how's that? I'll tell you what, that was a bit of a workout. To get Dude, those. You're <laughs> it's hot, plus the rivets were hard. Uh, anyway, like I said, that's it's a 10 minute job, mate. You can do it on the road, a couple of basic tools. And if you're gonna do a lot of off-roading in your caravan, I think having one of those is well worth it. All right, as always, comments, questions, feedback down below. Um, if I can do better at my little DIY install vids, I will. And if you do wanna see Beck do one, we'll have to, um, we'll have to do a vote, because I think she's gonna need a little bit more uh, temptation to get into one or a bit of oh, do you want to stuff <laughs> yeah i do i just want to see you do it <laughs> no, be hopeless all right there you go hot tip <laughs>